Hi, hi, hi. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm here in my studio and I thought I would go for a wander about, clearly in avoidance of maybe some work I'm supposed to do, but I thought, oh, screw it. It's a windy, kind of foggy, imagine if you can have both of those at the same time, windy, foggy day. So I'm just down here and everything is all cozy and nice, so I thought I would just take you guys on a tour with me since, you know, I probably should be doing other things, but oh well. I love my studio. <laughs> so here we go as we walk through. Here's some prints. I love those. Dun -dun, empty wall. I have to order my own artwork for that. Funny enough, eh? Here, I didn't even clean up today, so here is my <laughs> overview of my studio. How do I get back far enough? Here are the prints. Here is what's happening in my studio. These are my cards, my greeting cards. Oh, I love this one. This is Romeo and Juliet. There's a greeting card of my paintings, Romeo and Juliet. You can only buy greeting cards in the stores. I carry my work in St. John's. Thank you very much for doing that. The stores have been good to me over the years. Very good. Anyhow, these are my greeting cards. I just keep a stand here for when our friends come over and it's just a nice way to give somebody a, a little treat, you know? So those are some of my paintings. This is a, one of the retail racks that I bought for uh, when I was doing more stores and more shows and stuff like that, but I don't actually do any shows anymore, which I'm happy about. It's funny, you know, I'm not actually seeing the stuff that's in my studio until doing this video right now, and because, you know, when other people are looking, it's like you can see things different. Anyhow, I didn't even realize this is sitting here. This is a puzzle that Besh and I had made. What? That's funny. And it's a double-sided puzzle, which I had never heard of. And uh, so you get my painting batteries included on one side of the puzzle. And then on the other side of the puzzle, you get wedding corners. So all the pieces, oh my God, all the pieces, whoops, they're falling out, are double-sided. Can you see that? Look at that. It's the other painting, batteries included. Wedding corner. It's funny, I can tell the difference right away because, you know, I painted this painting <laughs> and that painting, so I know all the colors, I know every little detail in it, of course, like nobody else. Whoop, drop my pieces. Here we go, so we got a puzzle in here, which is very fun. Actually, it's neat, we gave away all our puzzles to our friends. We just had them made up for our friends. And this one we got back from Besha's mom because she passed away and I found it in her belongings, which made me happy. So I, I took it back and maybe I'll give it to somebody, somebody else who will love it. Anyhow, Besha's mom was a puzzle doer. What else do we have in here? Uh, art supplies. These are my... Uh, the art supplies that are going out to people who like Ashley Martin, who's an artist and she was my uh, mentee in the spring. Anyhow, she is getting like a whole whack of art supplies. Look at all these that I was given over the years from different people. And uh, so she's getting that and she's getting her clapper back. When she was working with me, we did a whole bunch of videos, which eventually we will release them. Anyhow, we use this for the beginning of our interviews. <laughs> Anyhow, here I'll show you some more like delicious art supplies. These are ones that I kept for myself. Just some really, I don't know, fun little things. I mean, look at these. These are LEDs. Oh my God. Yeah. And I love this stuff, especially anything to do with drawing or I'm going to give these to my nephews. 
little just little watercolor sets. Uh, anyhow, all kinds of cool things like calligraphy nibs. Oh my stars! And I think I'm a bit of a an eraser nut, and I can't seem to give these away. Any of these erasers, even though I'm sure I probably won't use this many in a lifetime. But you know, never say never. <laughs> Maybe I'll get into like high production of you know just my original artwork sometime, which really is my goal, I guess. Uh, so what else do we have here? Oh yeah, paint brushes, little hooky things, all kinds of stuff in here. Fixative for um, uh, drawings and charcoal. Oh, I should come over here. Oh, look at this. It's the first time I've turned on my fireplace was today. And so I also had the window open in order to uh, <laughs> let the dust cook off of it. Is that gross to say? Yeah, probably. Anyhow, here's my drawing table with Blueberry Crisp on it. This is one of my original paintings. Is that my last one? No, I did another one before, after this. Anyhow, this is on paper. Blueberry Crisp, which is in Brigus. Oh, so divine. Ah, this painting is available on my website. K-A-P-B dot C-A. That's right. And here was a, a craft that I was doing. I'm not, I don't always do crafts, but my friend had a baby. So I made the baby a little something. Anyhow, got into uh, some of the art supplies that I have tucked away. Mod Podge, which is like a glue thingy. All kinds of fun stuff. Different papers from my friend Natasha. Look at these. Are they gorgeous or what? Anyhow, delicious patterns. Oh, and by the way, these all look like Natasha. I don't even know how to describe that, but these are her colors somehow. Neat, hey? How you can see someone's personalities just in, like, paper. Oh, look, I just got a peek at these. These are some other things that I've been given over the years, too, I guess being a visual artist. Um, when art supplies are kind of going out the door one way or the other, um, I guess they come to me, which is great. And then uh, I send them out to people that would use them and would love them. So I have these books that are really fun from my friend Natasha and my Uncle Bert, who they say I got my art talent from. Oh, look, cats. <laughs> that must be Natasha. So all the books, watercolor painting, you know. Oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff. Oh, so fun. So I'm giving all those away. This has been, I have these boxes out and everything because I'm getting everything organized and moving stuff along that I don't need anymore. What else is there? Oh, I've got big windows in here, which I love. I keep these two closed though because sometimes my back is to the window and I have to keep the glare out of my eyes. I know, I'm so sensitive. Anyhow, here's some of my art stuff. Here are my pencils. Oh, I love my pencils. Oh, you know, it's funny, I hardly ever use them, but I love them. I mean, look at the, look at the color of them. It's not the best. It's not the best. Look. Oh, so good. I'm so in love with color. It's, it's ridiculous, really. But it's a long time love affair. I look at my brushes. I use like maybe, how many, like 5% of those. Like I've got my favorites and that's it. All these just sit here, but I, you know, what if you needed them someday? And every now and then I use, you know, like my big brush or anyhow, you just end up keeping them. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, my palette. I haven't even been on my palette for a while. Here, I'll back up so you can see it. Here's my palette. Brushes, those are my acrylic inks here. Acrylic inks, here is my acrylics. In tubes. And really, here are the paint brushes that I actually use. <laughs> 
I don't know how to get here without a shadow. Nope, my head gets it anyways, sorry. Here are my paintbrushes. These are the sizes I like just for, that's like usually one of the biggest I like to use, unless I'm doing a very large painting like this. Here, let me back up a little bit. And I'll show you the painting that I have had here for five years, I think. Check this out. It's an eight foot painting. <laughs> there, and it's done on plywood. I'll back up a little bit so you can start to get to see the, <laughs> the size of it. And it's cut out along the top. See along here, I've cut it with a, I can't even remember, maybe a roto zip or jigsaw or whatever. Besh and I both make the um, structures for these paintings. So this one I started five years ago, <laughs> but I have not worked on it since. And I am the type that is used to doing a painting, finishing it, that's it, move on, done, high five, and then next, right? But this one, I stopped, you know, life happened and whatnot, but all of a sudden, I had this big old painting in my studio for five years that uh, the only time I have attempted to go back at it was when there was a, um, what was it, a TV interview with oh, Discover NL. I can't even remember what it is. Uh, Discover NL? Anyhow, and he's like, it'd be great if you could work on, you know, a painting you have in progress. And of course, this is the only painting I had, and I hadn't even touched it for mm, three years by then. <laughs> Anyhow, so I had to like set up my palette and like pretend that I knew where I was in this painting and look like I knew what I was doing. And as soon as I put the paintbrush on the canvas <laughs> or on the plywood, it was like, oh my God, right. It's been so long. <laughs> Anyhow, and I just had to do like a couple of dabs and then, you know, we moved on with the interview, but that was the only time I worked on it and, uh, you know, maybe eventually I'll, I'll get back to it. I'm going to take you around the, oh, I should show you the, the, the guts of an art business is, and here are my bookkeeping stuff. Here's bookkeeping, some more bookkeeping and just general junk, you know? Here we go. Yeah, bookkeeping. It's not the most glamorous part of my job. Here, I'm gonna take you around the back of this painting. Oh yeah, look, here's other stuff. Here's some prints of my painting, Crooked as Sin, without the sky done. So I have a bunch of these printed off. So before I finish the painting, I digitally photographed it and then had them printed on paper. So there's about 10 of them in here and I want to do different color skies in with my acrylic inks or acrylics or whatever I feel like really. Anyhow, that's a project that I have sitting here for a rainy day <laughs> on the schedule of Goobers. Anyhow, I'm going to take you in behind my canvas. Oh, I should take you the other way. See it? Here's the structure in behind it because it's one big sheet of plywood, you kind of got to give it something so that it doesn't, uh, hold on, I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to give it something so that it doesn't bow off the wall, you know what I'm saying? Because plywood has a tendency to um, curve and stuff like that, so you want it to sit nicely. And I also would like it to sit out from the wall so it's just not a flat, you know, shitty piece of plywood hanging on the wall with no dimension. So. These edges and all that we build give it dimension. Anyhow, I think that could be our tour for the day now. Here you can see it back this way. All my tables of stuff. Anyhow, I love that my studio has, you know, active stuff in it. I'm quite excited. Here, let me take off my... Uh, I have my chest harness on, by the way. If you saw my chest harness video, I don't know. Oh, Lori Brown, this makes me so happy. Hello, Lori Brown. 
Jean Greeley, God love you, woman. I love all your comments on my stuff, by the way. Like, you guys make it, like, the bomb. It's nice to know you're not alone, you know, which sometimes in a studio you, you can, you can feel alone, like I see how, you know. Anyhow, thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a good day. I hope you don't get blown away by the wind. Okay, peace out.